What you're proposing is that they go on a medication that is potentially harmful and dangerous with a large side effect profile that also names their illness, names their body as an illness, and pathologizes their body. And then they go on a medication that potentially causes harm. And then as soon as they go off the medication, they go back to the prior, almost always go back to the prior curve that they were on or back to the prior growth trajectory they Janet, were on. Janet, let me, let That's me, not let me a return of the disease. That's a return to the body that was a healthy weight for them potentially. But it wasn't. And they're recommending. But they're, you, <laughs> haven't actually, you haven't actually said that though, because these guidelines are only making this point on the basis of BMI alone, which is, no, which is a flawed measure. They're saying to use it even in kids without diabetes, without PCOS, without uh, obstructive sleep apnea, so you and want to wait? You want to wait for them to get PCOS? Do you want to wait until are, they're infertile and having babies that are large for gestational age or small for just, I mean, you want to wait for them to develop obesity-related cancers? 